The Lettle's been making hammers for over 150 years, and they're getting a lot more comfortable. That's because of titanium. It's lighter and causes less recoil than a conventional hammer. And if you want to see something cool, we're going to show you how they're made in their California factory. Swinging a hammer can also hammer your arm. And after three decades as a general contractor, Mark Martinez knew there had to be a better way. I just knew that there was something out there that needed to be developed because my forearm, as in carpenter's elbow, had severe damage done to it. He hit the nail on the head by saying, see ya, Steel. Mark's company, Stiletto Tools, took out a patent and went to work making hammers out of titanium. You know, for 2,000 years, the hammer has not changed a bit. And Stiletto was the first one to take this new technology, actually space age technology, and develop a striking tool which enables us to work better and faster. That's because titanium is 40% lighter than steel, but it hits just as hard. Something that you're swinging that is lighter moves faster. These space age hammers are made at FS Precision Tech in Los Angeles, and it doesn't happen overnight. They use a multi-step process called investment casting. For every single titanium hammer that's made, a wax hammer is formed first using an injection press. What we're actually doing is taking a negative cavity mold, injecting liquid wax into the mold, and getting a, an exact replica of what we're trying to produce in metal. The wax hammers are then welded together into a tree so 12 can be made at once. It's actually what they call a water welder. It's hydrogen, and it's very, very hot, and it's searing those wax patterns together. The tree of wax hammers then takes a dip in ceramic slurry. It has to be put on very evenly, very uniformly. After six separate slurry coatings harden up, the wax is melted out by heating the shells under pressure to 350 degrees. And that's nothing compared to what's next. We preheat these shells to almost, sometimes very near 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And then things really heat up when the titanium is added. What goes on out here is we're actually melting a titanium electrode using amperage going across the end of it. Comes out to be about 31, 3300 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere in there. The titanium is melted and poured into the ceramic shell. And it's all done inside an atmosphere free vacuum. Ready, ready, set, go. Once the titanium hammers cool, the ceramic gets vibrated off by a pneumatic knockout hammer. Then the individual hammers are cut away from the mold. It takes temperatures of 2,400 degrees to slice through the titanium. Finally, the titanium tools get polished up and are ready to pound the pavement. If the lightweight won't convince you, Mark says there's another feature that makes his hammers a hit. The Stiletto All Titanium includes a built-in side nail puller. You can then grab a hold of it and bring it all the way out. No other feature on any other hammer has that particular feature. Titanium hammers aren't cheap. To swing an all titanium, you'll need to shell out over $200. But Mark says it's money well spent. If you don't like your arm, use steel. <laughs> if you like your arm, titanium is the best bet. It will save your arm and increase your production. According to Stiletto, Titanium hammers can even reduce carpal tunnel syndrome. Now you can get more details on any of the tools you've seen today by going to our website at DIYNetwork.com. See ya!